I'm so thirsty. I don't even know if I can teach the next lesson. I know, I not feel like a desert. Do you remember a while back when we had a superhero who would save the day by giving us lemonade? What was his name? Oh yeah, it was lemonade. Man, it sure would be nice if he showed up. But I haven't seen or heard about him saving the day in a while. Remember when Roman man, man came and told us when we could get some refreshing lemonade? That's right. I sure wish you would show up again. I'm so excited about the hate day coming up. But where's the lemonade thing? So you can help all the people that are thirsty. Sure, I hope something did happen to you. What's wrong? I don't know. I just don't feel good and strong anymore. Is that a sign? Yes, a kid gave it to me a while back and I haven't been the same since. So that's what's wrong, Lemonade Man. Sounds like you need some refreshing lemonade. I bet you're right, but where can I get some? Lemonade Man Day is coming up. When is it? It's May. It's Friday. This Friday, May 1st. How do I get some? We will be selling some every day. We will be selling the stamps before school every day. How much does it cost? It's one dollar for one cup and five for all you can drink. And the money will be donated to two charities. Here, we've been making jumpy practice. I feel amazing! I need to go spread the word. during your recess. How much does it cost? It's one dollar per cup and five for all you can drink. When do I buy it? Some awesome second graders will be selling your spades before school every day this week. Awesome, I can't wait. Me neither, and I'm gonna tell all my students. My job here is done. Remember, lemonade day is coming up this Friday during your recess. One dollar for one cup. Five dollars for all you want. We will be selling our spades before school all week and the money will be donated to two charities. We hope to see you there. Keep coming! Drink lemonade! Yeah. And so he's way better. Usually if you wave at him, he'll come over. <laughs> but he's got to see you wave first. Yeah, there you go. He's being a snoot. Huh? He's just playing snoot. <laughs> so, so if somebody wants to take a treat, Somebody take a treat and hide it in your hand. Now everybody hold your fist out in front of you, everybody, and he's going to find it. So we're going to start on this side. <laughs> you know somebody's fine. Oh, he knows What we actually made is more than what we're donating because next year's second graders need to have a little bit of money left to start next year's lemonade stand, and we're going to talk about that later. Okay, so what, excuse me, I'm just all over in your face, Miss Vera. So what we have is a check for you all to take back to your organization for $1,061.80. And um, that's that check. And then I have several other checks. So you're getting almost $1,200 from us, from our lemonade stand. So 
That's boys and that's girls. Awesome. Good job. We're going to give them their money. Woo. And then can you tell us how you would use this money? Because you own these dogs. So you're right. not going to use this money to feed the dogs yeah. nope. or to buy their collars, <laughs> especially since Miss Shana makes collars. So lovely. So what will you do with the money, ladies? So we don't get paid to do this. This is totally volunteer and the money goes to help. Uh, I can put it in my backpack. Okay. okay. It goes to help uh, pay for t-shirts and supplies, uh -huh. supplies that we use to um, make booths that we go to different places around town when they need booths like the vet school open house. I think we're going to be at Paula Palooza with the Bryan Animal Center. And so that way we can um, share our organization with the community and people get to know about us and what we do and can come and join us as well. So we need office supplies and all that type of stuff. So this isn't our jobs, this is completely volunteer, which means we don't get paid anything for it. Okay. Also goes to insurance, which we yeah. have to have to visit um, different facilities yeah. and that's a large sure. part of our cost yeah. expenses for the year is insurance, which is boring adult stuff. <laughs> well, and ladies, you know, we, we did learn about some other charities in town. We wanted to do something that was local. The kids wanted to do something that would benefit children as well as others. And they were really excited when I told them about what a great program um, your therapy dog program was. So um, thank you for all that you do in our community. And we hope that you are able to use the money for, for good things for the to keep your organization going. Addie? Um, have y'all ever been out of the state with any dog? I used to work in another state, but uh, he was with another organization. I was with uh, Therapy Animals of Utah, and we actually visited with my German Shepherd, who was also deaf. We visited a mental health facility for teenagers. It was a drug and rehab and behavior modification program. So it was a, a live-in kind of lockdown facility. The teenagers weren't allowed to leave the facility. So we would go in and talk about uh, what it meant to care for a dog and just play games with the dogs and do things like that. So he didn't, he didn't, uh, I didn't get him to remove here, but. But you know what's great about these dogs, Addie, is that they really benefit Bryan College Station only. Like they are our community's therapy dogs. Mm -hmm. So other communities might have therapy dogs also, but our dogs stay right here with us so that when I wanted to have some stress relief, which you saw them, remember, when they came for the third and fourth graders for testing, they come and do that because they want to support our community. So that's a really cool thing. Does anybody else have any questions for the ladies before they need to take their friends? Catherine? What hospitals have you visited? So we visit Scott and White and St. Joseph's. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was standing outside and getting my son Thor. Them sore. <laughs> the hardest thing about Lemonade Day was trying not to go out onto the playground and play with the other kids. What surprised me the most was that we actually had more fun than I thought. My advice for next year to the first graders is that they should never look out onto the playground too long because then their feet will just sort of carry them slowly towards it. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was seeing people be happy and get served lemonade. The biggest challenge about Lemonade Day was having to go so constantly fast to serve people lemonade. The thing that surprised me most is everybody enjoyed their lemonade and didn't complain. My advice for next year's second grade Lemonade Day crew is to be prepared to get very hot, tired, and have their legs be very sore by the time they get home. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was seeing everybody be so happy about the lemonade. The hardest thing about Lemonade Day was having to serve everybody so um, fast that I got tired. What surprised me the most about Lemonade Day was I had more fun than I thought. My advice for next year is to exercise a lot for five days. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was serving people because I really like pushing um, on the schoolers so, to make lemonade come out. The biggest challenge was being a refill person because you had to go back and forth to get ice every time. The thing that surprised me most that it was harder work than I thought it would be.
My advice for next year is to get good rest after it because your legs will be all tired and sore. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was, to give, was being the refill person to give everyone refills. My biggest challenge was not going to come on the playground. The thing that surprised me the most was that I uh, didn't, that I holded myself from going to play on the playground. My advice for next year is to en enjoy giving people the lemonade. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was being policemen. The hardest thing about Lemonade Day was trying to keep the line back from getting too close to the refills. That we didn't have more fun than I thought I would. My advice for next year is to get to start standing a lot or because you didn't stand a lot and doing lemonade. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was that it was so fun. The hardest thing was not going to the playground. The thing that surprised me the most is I could keep myself back from the playground. My advice for next year is practice standing because you're gonna be standing for a very long time. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was making the commercial. The biggest challenge about Lemonade Day was greedy. The thing that surprised me the most was that I kept myself from complaining. My advice for next year is to get a thumb workout. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was meeting the dogs for Agony and Pet It with a purpose. The, the biggest challenge in Lemonade Day wasn't anything. The thing that surprised me the most that there were so many people with yellow wristbands. My advice for next year is to practice to push a cooler. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day was getting to push the button on the cooler. The thing that was the most, thing that was the hardest thing about Lemonade Day was trying not to have my feet take over. The thing that surprised me the most is that it gave me a good workout. My advice for next year is to not complain. My favorite thing about Lemonade Day is watching all the boys and girls step up to the plate and be great little business owners. My biggest challenge for Lemonade Day with second graders is letting them really understand before we begin how hard that day is and how difficult it is to be a business owner and make sure that your customers are all happy. At the end of the day, when I'm so tired that I can barely put one foot in front of the other, these second graders say, that was fun, let's do it again. My advice for next year is to listen to everything that these boys and girls have said to help you next year. You will need to have very strong thumbs. You will need to not complain at all because when you complain, it's a sad day for Miss Louder. And to make sure that you get a good night's rest the night before because you'll need it. Keep coming! Drink lemonade!